Some JCPS students were shocked to get their COVID test results because they never even took a COVID test. We can cover what happened and what the company is doing to prevent mistakes from happening again. I think it's going fantastic. Uh, I think we've got a lot of cooperation from the families. Um, and then JCPS behind the scenes has done a lot of great things logistically. Bobby Sturgeon is the CEO of Sphere DX, a Lexington company. We had done hundreds of thousands of tests over the past couple of years. And Sphere DX has been doing the in-school and drive through testing for JCPS. The state of Kentucky says it received $134 million in money for COVID testing in schools from the CDC and U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Just how much money Sphere DX is getting hasn't been released. I think the biggest thing is just the quantity of people that we're testing. Um, there's bound to be errors every once in a while. We've met several times with the testing company, talked to them back and forth, looked at ways results are reporting. How can we make it easier for schools to see things? How can we make sure that everything's accurate? And that accuracy came into question recently. Some students got negative tests, but they were never tested. What happened there? Yeah, so what we're in the midst of doing currently, and I think we've wrapped it up as of this week, is we have merged tests to stay, tests to play, and in-school testing all together. Um, the reason why this happened was, first of all, it was a manual mistake. And one, two, three. Oh. The JCPS Test to Stay program started in mid-October. It allows students and employees who have close contact with COVID-19 to avoid quarantine if they take a COVID-19 test every night for a week. As long as they test negative, they can come back to school the next day. JCPS Test to Play started November 1st. That program requires students doing any sports or extracurricular activities to take weekly COVID tests. But for those students who got test results without even getting tested. Currently, we're right at about five to six kids um, were affected. They were all negative, so there were no positives. But uh, that's about the number we're looking at currently. And what do you say to parents who questioned your test results after hearing about incidents like this? No, certainly we understand that this is a very stressful time for all of us. And we understand that uh, a lot of parents, even though they are getting their kids tested, um, have had some hesitation, which we certainly understand. Um, we are testing approximately 80 to 100,000 children a month. And um, our error rate has been so low. What are your thoughts of that even happening? during this process. Well, certainly we wouldn't expect that to happen. That's something we want to avoid. Some parents also complained about long wait times for in-school testing, saying it kept their kids out of class too long. So the wait times before could have been maybe 30 minutes for the children, which is a long time when you're talking about taking them out of class. So now uh, with the increase of um, new employees, that should decrease significantly. Sturgeon says the company recently hired 60 more people, making 200 employees, so the wait times should no longer be an issue. Work with the schools to, to just bring one group of students down at a time to really minimize, because our goal is for kids to be in class, and so we don't want kids missing class waiting in line to get tested. From November 7th through the 12th, JCPS says about 6,500 students participated in the district's test to play program. The district says it also saw an increase in testing before the Thanksgiving holiday. As long as JCPS is still testing, then we'll be there with them. The free COVID testing is available Sundays through Thursday evenings from 3 to 7 p.m. So it's just encouraging people to take advantage of those opportunities that are there. On WDRB.com, education reporter Kevin Wheatley details how many students take part in the Test to State program and how many are testing positive. You can read that story right now on our website.